Now to start the drawings, we're going to go back through all the parts that I gave you instructions for, like these. Uh, I want you to note where the datums were placed on these drawings, but I want to use the same one so I can easily check your work. And I also want to point out that there was this note at the top of all of your papers that said that all parts have the following tolerances. There's a general tolerance note right here. So this needs to be located on all of your drawing sheet files. I'm just going to make all the drawings for this one upper die assembly first. And instead of walking through exactly how I do things, I'm going to show you just a couple of parts on how to do this one. And then I'll just go and click through what the other ones should look like unless I need to do like a specialty like a section view so you have a, a better idea of how to do that but mostly just where your dimensions should be located so click your drop down go to drawing I don't want C size paper so right click sheet 1 edit sheet change it to A that's 8.5 by 11 delete your border I'm sorry delete your title block and put in a more appropriately sized ANSI A title block. Go to your base. You may have to search for your button maker. This is the upper die center support here. This one just needs the front and the top view as well as the isometric. So there's nothing interesting that's on the side view. Again, anytime that you have circles, you want to use annotate, center mark, and click on the outsides of the circles. This will help you locate location dimensions. And then also, anytime that you have holes, you want to use your hole and thread note to let the user know that's what you were doing. Now I had two of these are the exact same. So if I right click and go to text, I can change this to say uh, times two and continue on down to the next one. And probably should have put this underneath so I think I'm just going to delete this and locate it down below instead for your chamfer one thing you could do, you have a chamfer button. Click on the angle first, then on a straight line, and it'll put in a note for you. And for this one, I would edit it to say uh, all over or all edges. We'll keep it consistent with the example. So 0.0345 chamfer all edges, chamfer all edges 45.03. I'm going to pause now and put in the rest of the dimensions for this one and a few others. Okay, so now I have all of my location dimensions in place. Although it looks like I did forget at least one in here. I want to show where the center of this would be. I may need to click and drag that up above. Okay, now, one thing you'll note, I mentioned that, yes, there is a uh, general tolerance here. So I copy that, come back over here and use text, 
and this bottom empty space. I'm going to paste what that said. I'm going to delete these bad looking plus or minuses and put in the symbol for it. Drop down for symbols is here. And you'll note that it does matter if there is one, two, or three places after the decimal for these dimensions. So we do have to go back and take special note of what's going on here. And why they don't have four places past and intolerance on that, I don't know, but these are the notes that they gave you. So we're just going to stick with that. Um, I think the easiest thing to do is just going to right click on a dimension edit dimension style and change everything to four digits after. Okay, and the main reason is that with these holes it's difficult to make them anything but. We can go back and change it later but it's going to be tricky otherwise. Now we have things like uh, 0.3125, 0 0.625, 0. This is only supposed to have 3. So go precision intolerance, it's next to text. Change this to 3. 1.6125, or I'm sorry, 1.625. that was here. This needs to be changed to 3. And we'll just go back and edit the number of places on just a couple of these. Okay, so this is what the first page should look like. Remember to click on text to put in your name. And I put in the part and it gives it to you here. So this is for die center support and for the scale if you forgot just double click on this it tells you the scale here this is one to one when I say this I mean if you hover over there will be a little red box that pops up you have to be inside the red box there's your one to one and then another important thing to note is that I want all of my sheets to be on one file. So go back to Place Views and click New Sheet so you can add your next part. Point out something quickly. Um, again, I'm using the, the datum that they show me here, that this is the common edge I want to use. and already here's a dimension I almost left out for that gap. You should have the same number of dimensions on this page that you had on this page and there are some things that may look like they need a dimension or you're used to going from line to line to line to line but this is a chamfer so on the front view we're just going to add a note that there's a chamfer on both ends and on the side view we're only going to dimension this hole and this outside diameter. This little guy here is still part of that chamfer. So we do not need a dimension for that. We do however need a center mark. You'll notice that the hole I put in doesn't have a depth put on it. To add that, I click the drop down depth symbol and then here is where I get the value for the whole depth. To change the tolerance, check that. Do not use global precision, and instead we're going to use quarter 20 UNC. Depth is 1.00. Same thing here. Double click, change precision and tolerance. Do not use global precision. Click OK. Easiest way to find if you need to change the number or not 
if it ends in a zero or multiple zeros you're probably doing something or you probably have a dimension that needs modifying to change the uh, precision and that should give you a good idea of what to expect for this one for this one you see both the front and the side and the back and normally I can just put down the front and the side view and then just give me another side view if I wanted to add on to it so I have to go back to projected select my side view and project the back onto there then I have too many hidden lines so I'm going to double click on one of these and choose to remove hidden lines select OK and now I can modify this just in case you missed how to do this in a different video uh, if you have a circular pattern you want to add a center line it's going through all of the points on it right click and create once it's made a full circle and then you can go back to dimension and just select those two little lines to make a 120 typical dimension. This is what your upper die pressure ring should look like. If you remember, we made this by revolving apart. So it's going to be important to see these details and how to dimension them. To show that, click on section, click on the view you're going to make a section of, hover over the middle, click above, straight below, continue, then place your section down. Now this is going into my title block so I can click and drag this to some other location and now I can add dimensions in here. For adding angles onto these antennae you just click on this uh, center line bisector, click on the two lines that bound it, hit escape a couple of times and if you select the line again you can extend it all the way down to the center mark and now you can add dimensions between your two to show your 10 degree angle and sometimes your 23 degree angle. Another thing to note on here is that when trying to make this dimension uh, you're going to have to try and find where the midpoint of that is and then right click select dimension type switch to aligned and that should give you the two inch diameter or I'm sorry two inch length that you've been looking for. Again change your precision to just the two places after for this one. This is what your finished upper die outer ring should look like. To make just a half section view, select section, hover over the midpoint, come down to the midpoint, and cut out to the side, then drop it in place off to one side. and we probably don't need this this is what your upper die center drawing should look like and one thing to note is that uh, you need to have these on all of your different drawings so make sure you went back and added those if you didn't do that with me and this should be it you're done